Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss a study revealing that Greenland was once a green tundra filled with flowers, with no ice. In present times, Greenland's 98% area is covered with ice. However, less than a million years ago, it was almost ice-free and was filled with green tundra, as per the new research. After studying a new fossil discovery from Greenland, the study has stated that the evidence provides the first direct evidence that the center not just the edges of Greenland's ice sheet melted away in the recent geological past. This was part of the statement released by the University of Vermont. Our new data is the strongest confirmation yet that the ice in the center of the island vanished and was replaced by a tundra ecosystem said study lead author Paul Beerman, who is a geologist at the University of Vermont, while speaking to Live Science. For studying the Greenland's past, a sample of ice core which was extracted in 1993 was re-examined by the research team. In the analysis, the scientists discovered a plethora of fossils, which included fungi, willow, and insect body parts. However, the scientists' most spectacular discovery was made in the preserved Arctic poppy seed, which left the team astonished. Beerman said, The original plan with the sample was to measure isotopes. We didn't know we were going to find fossils. The scientists also found important evidence in the specimen of rock spike moss, which is still present in sandy and rocky places. Halle Mastro said, they need the things all plants need to grow and they can't get those on top of an ice sheet. In a 2016 study conducted on the core, it was suggested that the current Greenland ice sheet was almost 1.1 million years old. The scientists also estimated that the loss of the ice at a site, known as GISP2, will mean that 90% of Greenland was nearly ice-free at that time. Beerman and Mastro re-examined the 1993 core, which was kept at the National Science Foundation Ice Core Facility in Colorado for nearly 30 years. And they said, the ice part of the core has been extensively analyzed. He also added, the people who were taking the ice cores weren't thinking much about what was beneath. After one set of analysis on the sediment, it was put in a bag on a shelf. We would not have known to check if we didn't already have a project working on sediments below the ice. Beerman said, It will take decades if not centuries to lose its ice completely, but most of the sea level rise, more than other places, is coming from Greenland. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.